Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the cosine of arc sine of 2x. So to do this, what we need to do is we need to create a triangle because we're trying to find that what angle when I take the sine of that angle is going to produce 2x as its sine. Well, there's kind of two triangles I can look at. I could say here would be 2x where my hypotenuse would be 1. Or I could also look at the triangle where here would be 2x and here's 1 where my theta is here and here's my other theta. Now, we can only use one triangle. And so we have to remember that since we're taking the inverse sine, that my range or my angle or my angle has to fall within the range of the inverse sine function, which is between negative pi halves and pi halves. Therefore, this is the only triangle that will fall within that range or within theta that will fall within that range. So now that I have my opposite side, and remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and since I don't have a denominator, I know that it can be 1. Now I need to go ahead and determine what my other leg is. So what I can do is I can say my adjacent side, which would be my other leg squared, plus 2x, which is my opposite side leg, equals 1 squared. So therefore, adjacent squared equals 4x squared, I'm sorry, plus 4x squared equals 1. Now I subtract 4x squared from both sides, so I get my adjacent side squared equals 1 minus 4x squared. Take the square root of both sides, and I can say my adjacent side equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. Now we look at this triangle, and since our adjacent side is going to be in the first quadrant, we know that it's going to be positive and not negative. Um, so therefore, I have my adjacent side is now the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. And now I'm trying to determine what my cosine is. So the cosine is going to be your adjacent over a hypotenuse. So for this problem, it's just simply going to be 1 minus 4 over x squared divided by 1. But obviously, we don't need it divided by 1. Um, so that will just leave us with our final solution. Thanks.